Advisors, welcome back. So the next topic we're going to talk about is quite contentious and it has been debated across many years. Uh, now it's called, what is free will and does it exist? So I'm sure a lot of you must have a lot of opinions and your own views on this. And today I'm here to just offer my view. And it's based off of a lot of uh, research I've done in the past, as well as a lot of lectures I've attended by these um, spiritual leaders and monks, especially from the Hinduism, uh, the Vedanta school of thought, which is like the most, one of the most ancient philosophies uh, that we have, uh, we can come across from the Indus Valley civilization. And so um, what is free will, right? Uh, to define free will in, in simple words is basically the ability to make uh, choices freely, right? And so when we think about whether or not free will exists, well, if you think about it, it does exist because the fact that I make the very choice to, to come here and speak to you, that itself shows that I'm a free person. I have the choice to make certain, um, to take certain actions that I like and I do it. So of course free will exists, but to what extent is the real question? So think about the times when you've gone out there and put in your effort, put in all the hard work, did your duty, and then at the end, the result, the outcomes, sort of weren't really what you expected. Or sometimes you were just sitting back and then the results were extremely amazing and you were like, I didn't even do anything and I got it. And so uh, something that we come to realize is that yes, the the the, choices we make in our lives is definitely in our hands. However, they are limited. For instance, the outcome of our choice, the results are never in our hands. So here I want to introduce you to two different books that I find my inspiration, one of my inspirations from, and um, here it goes. Okay, so these are the two books. It's called the Bhagavad Gita, and this is a book I got for free in the New York City subway station because there are a bunch of people who are like devotees who, who give these out for free, which is very cool. But it's also very intricate, and it's like, as you can see, it has very short, small font. Um, so not the most ideal read, but, but important and good to have. The second one is also the Bhagavad Gita, but it's written by Ignat Ishwaram, and it's actually a very, very good book. I really enjoyed it. It's very user-friendly. Um, it has... It has sort of verses in every page and then interpretations of that verse. So it makes it very easy for you to grasp and understand the concept of the Gita. Um, I will make another video specifically going into what the Bhagavad Gita is. It translates as a song of God and, uh, but it's mainly philosophy about your, about human nature, human self and the intrinsic parts of us. And so one of the most uh, important lessons in the Bhagavad Gita that's learned is that um, as human beings, it is our duty to do our due diligence. The, the outcome, the fruit of our labors is never in our hands. And so it kind of suggests the idea of free will, right? So you, you can do whatever you want. It's up to you. It definitely you have free will there, but it's only to a certain extent. Um, when it comes to results and outcomes, then to a certain extent, is only that we can control it. Uh, and so a lot of people who find themselves in recurring patterns in their life or they're attracting, let's say, uh, not very good experiences or they're attracting very good experiences. So these are all like ideas um, that might sort of um, help you understand free will, um, that you in a way are somewhat limited as a human being. Now you can contend with me on that and I feel free to comment below. Uh, we can start a discussion, but this is sort of where my thought process goes to. Um, for instance, and there's nothing wrong with being limited because human 
beings are li everything in life is is limited um, has some form of limitation perfection is an ideal right if you think about it even the universe in all its um, infinite glory still has a limitation which is it has no limitations so having no limitations is also a limitation so at the end of the day um, even having no limitations is a limitation so nothing in this world is free of limitation i hope i didn't get get you lost over there but um we will discuss this more. but this is sort of the idea of what free will is and does it exist or not so my summary and my own thoughts on this are that uh yes free will exists when it comes to the actions we and the decisions and choices we choose to take in life however when it comes to the outcome and the fruits of our labor not so much so free will does exist but only to a certain extent now do you call that free will or is there something called as absolute or relative free will let's discuss that um for any comments or feedback please leave um your your words in the comment boxes below and i would be more than happy to address it i'll see you in the next video